Alright, here we are on Wind Chaser 2015 version 1.9.4 beta. Uh, we're about to go uh, plant some barley uh, using Follow Me. Uh, just finished uh, tweaking my T9700 a little bit. Put on uh, T9700 decals. I uh, adjusted the exhaust a little bit, uh, made the hood bigger, uh, and uh, it's quite a bit bigger than the uh, 565. Put uh, RPM on there and odometer. So, just gonna come in here and go crazy on our planting so I have four wheel drive on right now take that off put on some diffs take those off keep four wheel drive on Turn on our GPS here. I want to load uh, course 38 because that's pretty close. Load that. Bring it over. to go over to about 21 so this is just the standard exhaust I took the little um, plate heat plate off put a different dirt skin on it because it looked funny um, just tweaked it a little bit as you can see that the, the hood on this one is quite a bit smaller uh, has a different dirt dirt skin on it. So it's just that old, I flipped some pipes around and stuff to make it look better. Using follow me and GPS 4.2.1 I believe it is. Fifteen point three kilometers an hour, running uh, a little over two thousand RPM, planting a combined forty two meters uh, per pass. The field, the field to our right is corn. Um, what we did, there used to be trees in the middle of this field. We uh, cut those down, ground up the stumps, and uh, plowed some more uh, terrain so we can plant. We're going to be doing the same thing to this field. As you can see, it's a little island of trees. It's, uh, it's just easier to cut them down, get them out of the way. It makes it easier to plant and harvest because uh, we do a lot. A lot with uh, either follow me or course play or um, it's just easier to have less obstacles and that's the whole point that I put them in there is you have to take the time to uh, cut down the trees uh, grind the stumps and plow up your terrain just like in the real world So 
here we are planting along the river. As you can see, uh, there's quite an undulation of terrain here, elevations. It's not flat, it's not square. I have the real tree camo. So all these trees are they're harvestable except for the green, the red and yellow and kind of green ones. Uh, but for the most part, the birch trees and like the tall pine trees and, and such are cut those down. I don't know why you would though. here Go ahead and save quick. So as you can see, these are pretty large fields. This uh, is one of the smaller ones. I think this is around 18 or 20 hectares. So about 60 acres, roughly. Um, really helps when you have two of these planters. It makes quick work of essentially any field. Another thing is you can't get too far ahead of your uh, or follow me otherwise they lose the course after you're so many so many uh, meters ahead or you know what have you well you can see the, uh, the body is following the train he has nice uh, pivoting and articulations. Which is how it should be.
So I fixed the steering on this so it um, doesn't slide, drives perfect, drives amazing actually. So much better than the in-game ones. Even better than the wheels, the wheeled versions, so. So here's where we cut up all those trees and planted, so, or uh, cultivated the ground. I think we took out 24, 25 trees. So usually I'm on my dairy game, but I felt like uh, running some big equipment. So I'm out here on my grain farm saved game. So we'll just wait for a little buddy to catch up. So, this is by far the best tractor. I love it. I mean, it's awesome. Has the animated joystick, has the uh, cabin lights. Cedar again. So we have the uh, field 22, 38, we're working on field 41, that's 39, we're in, uh, this is 40, we did 41, uh, 42 is over there already, and um, so we have quite a few more acres to plant. We have 39, 38, 22, we're working on 41, 42 is planted, so we have uh, 43, 33, 32, and 31 to go. So we still have uh, two, four, about 600 acres left to plant. So we're about halfway done, a little bit more than halfway done. I think I think I calculated out it's right around like 1,500 actual acres we're planting right now. Uh, it's pretty easy to plant. We're doing no-till. I mean, once soil management mod comes around, we'll be running dual rippers, uh, cultivators. Uh, we'll be spreading liquid manure, fertilizer, running our DB, DN345 dry box spreaders. So right now all we do is harvest and plant, harvest and plant, harvest and plant, no-till, which is boring, but it's fast, it's quick. You don't have to worry about yield, you just put down fertilizer like we're doing now.
Usually we do this on MP, but flying solo today. Just trying to get this done. Uh, we're gonna have to cut down those trees and do the same thing before we can plant over there. Probably start on a. Uh, Too sure he's gonna be making that turn, so Gonna make it? Ooh, I'm not too sure. If that planter had a collision, he definitely would not make it. It's funny if you're running dual planners with multiplayer sometimes we run um, we each have a follow me we each have a, a follower so we could run like four planters you know one person each with a follower <laughs> you cover some serious ground fast and we've done that with combines too combine has a follow me and so we have four combines going in the green cart so it's always fun Great demand.
think this is just going to be a short video, guys. So, thanks for watching again. Enjoy.